So uh, hello again everyone. Uh, I have received uh, a question about uh, the values, uh, the maximum and minimum values for donation type and how we can calculate these. So I will explain how we can calculate these values and you can do the same for the others. However, you should pay attention that uh, there are uh, different norms. So in the book we are the, the, talking about the NCC, not the IEEE one. And on the internet you will mostly find IEEE ones. However, I will uh, explain this uh, one. So, how can we find the maximum value to be around 3.4 multiple 10 to the power 38? So, before that, we need to know and uh, need to refresh our memory and see how we can represent a float number, a rational number uh, in, uh, in, in a memory, so in base 2. So, before that, uh, if uh, you, you, you remember the first semester, we have said that any number can be represented using uh, a scientific notation and in in, uh, in base 2 as in base 10 so we have a sign so the number could be positive or negative we have the base so in, in the PC it's 2 we have an exponent that could be positive or negative and we have a mantissa and we have one digit before uh, the dot so uh, let's remember also how we can convert a number from base 10 to base B so we have to do two parts so before the dot the, integ the integral part we should uh, do a procedure we, we should treat it uh, in a way and the fractional part in a, in a way so for the integral part we have a number here we divide it by a 2 since we are talking so since we want to convert to base 2 and well, uh, the quotient will place it here and the remainder will drop it down so we'll continue this division until the number reaches 0 so this is the representation of the number in base 2. So let's take an example. We have here 35 and I want to uh, find its representation in base 2. So I divide 35 over 2. It's 17 and something. 17.5. It's 17 multiplied by 2 plus 1. So the remainder is 1 and I place it here. Under 35. 17 over 2. It's 8 multiplied by 2 plus 1. So it's 8 and the remainder is 1. 8 over 2 is 4 multiplied by 2. Uh, plus 0, so the remainder is 0 and the quotient is 4. 4, if I divide it by 2, it's 2, so 4 equal 2 multiple 2 plus 0, so the remainder is 0. 2 over 2 is 1 and the remainder is 0. 1 over 2, it's so 1 is equal to multiple 0 plus 1, so the remainder is 1 and the number in binary is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. This is for the integral part. What about the fractional part? The fractional part, it's the number that is after the dot, so I will multiply it by 2 till it reaches potentially 0. It's rarely the case that it will reach 0. However, while multiplying by 2, the integral part, if I have, for example, a number uh, that's before the, 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 the comma, the dot, I will drop it down and this is the uh, uh, representation of the number in base 2. So let's take an example. We have here 0 0.625. So I will, I will multiply it by 2. It will be 1.25. So I will keep the fractional part here and I will drop here the integral part which is 1. 0 0.25 multiple 2 it's 0 0.05. 0 0.5 sorry so the integral part here is 0 I will drop it down drop it down and I'll keep the 0 0.5 0 0.5 multiple 2 it's 1.0 I will drop 1 and I will reach 0 it's rarely the case that uh, 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 a fractional part and with this multiplication ends so let's uh, put this all together if I have the number 35.625 in uh, decimal it will be it will have this representation in binary so this is on paper. So how the, the PC will uh, store this float number. So as we have uh, seen, let me go back to the R uh, table. So a float, it needs four bytes. So four bytes, it means 32 bits. So how the PC subdivides these 32 bits? bits. So there is one bit for the sign. So a sign can be either positive or negative. A number can be either positive or negative. So zero means positive and one means negative. We have a we have eight bits or one byte for the exponent, and in the PC we don't have negative exponent. So since we have two power eight possibilities, it means that we have 250 
uh, six possibilities. It's divided between mi minus 126 and 127. So if we have a negative exponent, we will shift it to the, to the positive part. So what we do is that we add always 127. For example, if I want to have an exponent uh, equal to, I will add 127 and I will store 129. If I have, for example, exponent mi minus 126, I will add 127 to that number and I will store the exponent 1. So, you should just pay attention that if you have the exponent all 0, so if you have here zeros, uh, it's in red, uh, it means that the number is 0, uh, the exponent is 0, and 1, it means that the number is the infinite 1. Because we sometimes when you divide 7 by 0, you will have n, a, n. So how do PC knows that it's n, a, n? Because he will put in the exponent all zeros and he, he will know that this is uh, this means infinite. So we still have here 23 bits. So 23 bits for the for the mantissa. So for the number. So however, the PC will use 40, 24 bits. Why? Because again, if you go back to the representation of a number in base 2 so we have the sign we have dot we have here mantissa and we have the exponent and the base and the exponent however here 0 in binary there is always 1 because in binary there, is, there are two symbols just 0 and 1 and we always transform a number into a scientific notation into uh, uh, into this type taking into account that the first digit is always one so so for that we represent the number over 24 bits however we will omit the first one the first the number one let's take an example so we have here 35.625 so the sign is positive i will put a zero here I will convert it uh, to binary so this is binary so this is not a scientific notation I will multiply it by 2 power 5 so I will shift the dot till here till after the 1 so it's important to have 1 here because in all representation I should have 1 dot so the exponent here is equal to 5 so 5 I will add 127 to that it's here implies so I will have this as exponent and I will place it in the exponent part. What I will put in the uh, mantissa is this part. I should take into account that there's one before that. So there's one here, the one here is omitted, it's not placed here. As if we are saving one uh, bit for that. So this is the representation of this number uh, using float. In the PC so how now can we calculate the maximum value so just to know that we have 24 bits we have 23 bits but we are dealing with 24 bits and if we uh, represent the number in, in base 10 so we calculate the logarithm of all the possibilities we end up with approximately we can represent 7.225 digital the uh, digital uh, the decimal digits however in float we just choose 6 because uh, there are some digits that uh, we, we cannot represent uh, fully the numbers since there are there are precisions. Sometimes we are rounding the numbers, and it depends on the type of the uh, variable. So how can we reach uh, this number? So first, let's see what what could be the maximum value. So the maximum value. So th this is the smallest value. I will not talk about it now. So the maximum value positive the sign would be positive would be positive the mantissa it's the biggest number so we have seen that the uh, ex sorry exponent the biggest value is 127 so for that we will have 2 power 1 2 7 however what about the biggest value so in the biggest value we will place all one what does it mean to have all one so this number is represented by this value so suppose we have this as a number and if we add plus just one to that so what's the, the the number that is directly after that so 
it's equal to 2. So if we from 2 subtract 2 to the power minus 23. Why 2 to the power minus 23? Because these are the numbers of the digits in uh, of 1 here. So it's number of bits. So this value is equal to 2 to the power 2 uh, minus 23 and we multiply it by 2 uh, to the power 127. We will get the value 3.4 multiple 10 to 38. So, uh, so this is the biggest value that can be represented. It's approximately, uh, it's not uh, directly equal. And uh, this is it. You can do uh, all the others. And I remind you that this is an NC uh, 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 rules. They are not the IEEE uh, ones. So this is it. If you have more questions, uh, I will be ready to answer. However, you, don't, you do not need to pay too much attention about how we can calculate this because it's more, it depends on the machine, it depends on uh, your compiler and you will take it more into details, uh, talk about this when you do the operating system in the second year. So thanks for watching and stay safe.